Hi there guys and a very warm welcome to yet another edition of Fact vs Fiction. I'm Mekhil Ananda and with me as always is Ajit Chaudhary of uh, Boom. Uh, we're going to be debunking uh, a story that sort of, you know, keeps going viral again and again on social media and it's now resurfaced as a WhatsApp message and it's really got to do with the misuse of funds at the Nalanda University uh, whose uh, Vice Chancellor, remember, was the famed Nobel Laureate Amartya Sen. Now it's come back uh, as... Uh, uh, as a WhatsApp message, like I said, and it's, it's got to do with several allegations yeah. on inflated salaries, on nepotistic appointments, etc., etc. And it was even shared uh, verbatim by a Times of India reporter called Bharti Jain, That's after right. which it really, really sort of took off on Twitter. So I just I want to begin by asking you to tell me a little bit more about the message, where it originates from. So, um, I mean, with messages like this, it's really difficult to ascertain the origins. Mm. But uh, we received this on our helpline on WhatsApp, basically. And uh, this was just the same day uh, as uh, we saw the tweet by Times of India reporter Bharti Jain, who is yeah. a senior editor. And uh, when we saw the tweet, we knew this was going to get massively viral. And it was picked up by several other websites like Op India, Right Log, and a Twitter influencer called uh, uh, Anshul Saxena, who actually Anshul faced a Twitter ban recently. And uh, so while this has spread, we looked at the content of the message mm -hmm. and we saw that there were several allegations made. Yeah. We'll get into the allegations. Yeah. We just want to clarify that uh, Bharti Saxena, uh, Bharti Jain, Bharti Jain, I beg your pardon, has uh, now uh, actually taken down her tweets. Uh, she initially did say that uh, she actually got all of that from government sources, but then was countered by several people saying, how can, uh, you know, it be uh, the verbatim copy of, uh, you know, the misleading WhatsApp message that's been doing the rounds. So she has now taken down uh, her tweets and apologized for spreading misinformation. But, you know, let's get down to uh, the contents of the WhatsApp message, Archis. And yeah. I want to begin uh, by asking you to debunk, you know, each of the five claims that have been made there one yeah. by one. So if we can start, uh, I think, with Amartya Sen's salary. Yeah, so Amartya Sen's salary has been a topic of controversy since 2015 when Subramaniam Swami had bought this up, hmm. claiming he receives 50 lakh per year for doing nothing. So uh, at that time, Nalanda University had come forward and publicly declared that uh, Mr. Sain, Professor Sain, receives no remuneration from the university and all his work is done in honorary capacity, basically. Okay. So it's pro bono. And uh, it, the message also said that he was running the institute from abroad. Yeah. However, he, he got the position of a chancellor and as a chancellor in India, it's a rather ceremonial and honorary position hmm. and the person who is the academic and uh, the principal academic and executive officer hmm. is actually the vice hmm. chancellor. Hmm. The vice chancellor is the person running the institute. So this basically both of these were debunked like, you know, a prima face. Yeah, the third one has got to do with dodgy appointments and I think it's, it's also got to do with the appointment to one of Manmohan Singh's daughter. Yeah. So what's that all about? Actually, the third and the fourth uh, claim here actually yeah. is uh, that all of three of Manmohan Singh's daughters daughters were actually appointed. Mm. It mentions Upinder Singh, uh, Daman Singh and Amrit Singh. Okay. So uh, when we look to uh, the website of the university and all the reports that existed on the university, there were no mention mm. of either of uh, the three daughters of Manmohan Singh. And uh, we also reached out to several people and even they didn't, uh, couldn't tell us about their involvement in any way. Yeah. Yeah. And we reached out to one of the professors called Nayanjot Lahiri, who is mm -hmm. actually a friend of uh, Professor Upinder Singh, who told me that she was also not at all involved or, or received, nor neither did she receive any money from Nalanda University. Right. You know, and of course, the fifth claim is that, you know, once Narendra Modi came into power in 2014, all of these frauds uh, were stopped. Uh, mm. But Arches, you've also, uh, you know, filed an RTI and you're waiting, uh, you know, for uh, your query to be answered. And perhaps yeah. we will get, uh, you know, more details. Uh, uh, you know, on uh, some of these specific uh, claims being made from that RTI inquiry. Uh, but uh, thanks very much for tuning in to Fact versus Fiction. Uh, uh, you know, if you want to uh, send in some uh, stories or want us to uh, bust some dodgy claims, our hotline number is there right below flashing on your screens. And we definitely take that up for you. Thanks very much.